hello 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 everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to miss glow glow motivation i'm back with another sit down and chat with you guys video i just got finished doing some shorts let me let you down so you can see me good so i just finished got done doing shorts trying to get back on those shorts and get them upload let me get this hat my head so yeah, I'm uh sitting here, got my coffee. Mm. Uh, letting it cool off. I found some new um French toast coffee creamer. Oh, I love it. It is so good. My favorite coffee creamer is caramel mochiata. I like that, the dry kind. And um, but I decided to come on here and talk to you guys because I'm pretty excited about the new series that I'm going to start, the vision and the provision. But then also, we're going to be doing two videos a day. If we can do three, we'll do three. But I'm going to be doing two to get back on my grind while I was on. I want to start doing the prayer of the day. And I want this video to be me starting out with the prayer of the day. This is 31 day of prayer. And I want to get used to Praying at the same time every day, every day, the same time. So I want to start praying and I want to pray from this book uh, with you guys. First, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you won't miss any uploads that Miss Glow Glow is doing. Also, uh, share this video out and leave me a comment down below. I also want you guys to know you can reach out to me on all of my social medias, all under the same name, Miss Glow Glow Motivation. My Facebook, I have two Facebook pages. One is a fan page from over here. It is called Miss Glow Glow and the Motivators. And then the other one, my personal Facebook page. If you want to reach out to me for prayer, if you want me to send you the prayer of salvation, anything scriptures whatever you need if i can do it if it's god's will i will you can reach out to me on my personal facebook page gloria good vine you can reach out to me inbox me on facebook inbox me on any of my social medias you know i'm here that's what i'm there for also devotion of the day we're going to be doing that on this video this morning along with this prayer now I get up in the morning and I have my Bibles here, this book, the prayer book, my Bibles on the sofa. I read scriptures. I get on my knees and I pray. And I do whatever else the Lord allow me to do. But I want to bring you guys on this journey. Like I said, when I started this page, oh, I hate when my ears feel like they getting ready to need to be popped or something. But I wanted to, I started this page uh, when I lost my son and I needed some comfort. I needed some support. I needed prayers. I needed to talk. I needed friends. I needed to be motivated. And I want to keep this platform as that, Miss Glow Glow Motivation. And I want to be a help always. Boy, my ear <clears throat> seemed like it just need got stopped up. But I want to be a motivation to someone always. Y'all see, I got a new addition to the house. Y'all see that stand in that corner red back there. I ordered that from Walmart um, to hold my microwave and all the other appliances that be sitting on the counter in the kitchen because I, the, our kitchen is very small. And I don't, if I cook for the holidays or anything, I don't have room enough to sit stuff, you know, and to prepare food in there. So I put that stay in there. My uh, cousin giving me another microwave card. I just got to go pick it up. And now, then I'm going to decide if I'm going to use the one he gave me or that one. Because if I use the one he gave me, then this one, I would put it somewhere else and use it for another purpose. Okay. So, yeah, but I, I had to get those things out of the kitchen, off the cabinet, because I have no space, not even to, to simply make a cup of coffee without moving stuff out of the way. So, I had to rearrange some things. Now, 
Oh, I hate when my ear do this, y'all. But let's go ahead and start with the prayer, and then we'll do the devotion of the day. Today is October 10th, 2024. The prayer of the day. Today, this particular prayer, the reason I chose this prayer is because I want to pray for the world, the nation, for all God's people. It is so much going on in this world, guys. We need each other. We just don't know how bad we need each other. But we really do need each other. We need to pray for each other. We need to pray for the world. Look at the hurricanes that's going on in Florida and all the other surrounding areas that is being affected. People are losing their homes. I'm telling you, they are losing everything. And some are losing their life. And we need to pray that God have mercy on this world. And that people turn back to God. We really need to pray that. I'm also uh, cooking breakfast. I got some bacon in the oven. I'm going to have some uh, mini French toast sticks. And I'm thinking about either frying an egg or... I don't really want no grits today. So I think I'll just stick with the French toast sticks. And um, the egg and just the bacon. Okay, and I already got my coffee here to start and drink, and that's the first thing I do when I get to praying every day. So, let's go ahead. I want to get this video um, uh, recorded, edited, and posted because I'll be gone this evening. My grandson have an interview, and I'm gonna ride with my pastor to take him to his interview. So, and I. I'll be gone. I won't have time to do this later. So we're doing it right now. That's why I like getting up early in the morning. Okay. If you don't mind, close your eyes, please, and pray this prayer with me. And then we'll go into the devotional, motivational word for today. Father God, as I come before our approach the throne of grace, I'm asking you to forgive me for all of my sins, Lord. Forgive me for the known sins, the unknown sins. Forgive me for the secret sins that have been hidden in my heart. Lord, even forgive me for the sins of my childhood. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Lord, I ask that you create within me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. I ask that you remove everything in me that can hinder this prayer from reaching your ears, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I bow humbly before you today, Lord. You are high and exalted, God. And I am so small. I am so human, God. I am so limited, God, by your time and your space. You are holy, and I fall so far short of your glorious ideals, Lord. What amazing grace that you grant me to access to you at all times, Lord. Hallelujah. All time, anytime, day or night, Lord. Lord, we have access to you. And I thank your son, Jesus Christ, for making that way for us, Lord. Show us afresh your deep love, Lord, for the world, Lord. Your yearning that the peoples trust Christ and that they live with you forever, God, in your eternal family. Lord, I want to thank you and to think that my prayers can help fulfill your longing to other peoples in their lives, Lord. Lord, I desire to preserve in prayer day by day for my unsaved family members and my friends, Lord, including and especially, God, hallelujah, my sister. Look on my sisters, Lord, and I ask that you bless them. Grant them the desires of their hearts, God. I ask that you let their life be lived according to your will, God. Father God, look on my church and my pastor and touch her and bless her in a special way, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, bless each and every one of my neighbors in this building, God. Cover them in the blood of Jesus, God. Let Protect us from all hurt, harm, or danger, God. In the name of Jesus. And God, give us grace to pray for everyone often, Lord, not just today, but often, God, and to relate to them with a greater love, Lord, and a helpfulness, and to tell them of Jesus Christ, you know, and to win some, and in timely ways, help us, God. Make them intensely aware of their new need for forgiveness, Lord. Make all of us aware 
of our new need for our forgiveness because the word said we all sin daily and come short to the glory of God, God. Convince them. Convince us, Lord, of your love, God. Hallelujah. Convince us of, our, of your love, Lord, and draw us closer to Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask that you do the same for my friends and more distant relatives who don't know you. In, in, anyone, Lord, including anyone. I'm leaving no one out, Lord. And look on my subscribers, God, and draw the ones that don't know you closer to Christ, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, it seems that there are so many barriers that keep us from you, God. Deliver those, Lord. Deliver us. Deliver me. Deliver those who think there are no absolutes, who believe that every viewpoint or our lifestyle is okay as long as it seems right to them. Forgive them, God, for they know not what they are doing, God. Let them know that the lifestyle that seemed right to them might not be right to you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, turn people from modern philosophies, Lord, and Eastern religious practices, God, and from pursuing ideals of some sort. Hallelujah, God. Even Christians, goodness or services, Lord. Depending on our own efforts rather than on Christ, deliver us, God, from depending on our own efforts rather than us depending on Christ, Lord. Help us, God, to defeat Satan. Help us to defeat him, Lord, as we bind them to their knees on the cross, Lord. Help us to defeat Satan, and we bind his knees to the cross, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Open the eyes of thousands of people daily to the goodness, to the goodness and to the glorious light, God, of God, the good news of Jesus Christ. Help many of your peoples, Lord. To trust you for forgiveness in our community, in our region, and beyond. Show us how and where to focus on our prayers, God. And help us to motivate many peoples around us, around the world, and to pray faithfully, Lord, that the people will come to Jesus Christ. Father God, I lift this prayer up to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, I believe and I receive. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, thank you, God. If you prayed with me, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you prayed with me, I just want to ask you that if you pray with me to read Isaiah 57 and 15, Romans 3, 23, Ephesians 3, 12, Luke chapter 11, and Isaiah chapter 5. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and the word of the Lord is already blessed. Okay, the devotion for the day. The devotion for the day, y'all. We're, we're not going to make this video be too long. Okay, I just want to read this devotion, a uh, devotional word of the day that comes from the Bible. This word comes from Hebrews 10, verse 32 through 39. The memory verse for today is Hebrews 10 and 36, and it reads as this in the name of Jesus. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what God has promised. That's Hebrews 10, 36. Let's go to Hebrews right quick. I should, y'all, you know, y'all know I'm slow about opening this, but I got to do this word. I got to do it. I have to do this word. There's just no way around it. The word is my life. God is my love. He is my help. He is my everything. If I can get to, where is Hebrews at? Come on now. Hebrews, Hebrews. We're going to Hebrews 10. I hope everybody having a blessed day today. When you see this video, put some prayer hands in the comments if you don't mind. You know, when you guys don't do what I ask you, when I say put something in the comment and you don't do it, then let me know you didn't watch the video all the way to the end. So, it is what it is. But I thank God for you watching, clicking on it, and I hope you get something out of this word. So, we're going to Hebrews 10, verse 32. 
verse 32 to 39. And the word of God read as thus. Remember the earlier days when after you had been enlightened, you endured a hard struggle with suffering. Sometimes you were publicly exposed to taunts and afflictions. And at other times you were complaining of those who were treated that way. For you are sympathized, for you sympathize with the prisoners and accept it with joy the confiscation of your possession, because you know that you yourselves have a better and enduring possession. So don't throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you need endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive what was promised you. For yet in a very little while, the common one will come and not delay. But my righteous ones was lived by faith, and if he draws back, I have no pleasure in him. But we are not those who draw back and are destroyed, but those who have faith and are saved. We are not those that draw back from God. And are, be, and are going to be destroyed. We are the ones that have faith and are saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. To those of us that believe in Jesus Christ, we are saved. We will be saved. Yes, we will. I just read to you Hebrews 10, verse 32 through 39. Now, the day's devotion is talking about perseverance. It says there is a wonderful story of a snail that started climbing up an apple tree one cold winter day. While he was creeping up the bottom of the trunk, a worm stuck his head out of a hole in the bark. You're wasting your time. This is what the worm said. You're wasting your time. There's not one single apple up there, he said. By the time I get there, there will be, answered the snail. Perseverance. The snail persevered. He was determined to make it to the top of that tree, and he was going to find him an apple. Let's see what happened. Perseverance means that you are prepared to endure right to the end. I am prepared to endure unto the end. I am prepared to continue to live for the Lord until the end of my time. Because my goal is to make it to the heavenly kingdom and to live there, to dwell there with my Lord and Savior, the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost forever. So therefore, I must persevere. It's a lot of stuff come my way. Things come my way, storms, trials, tribulations, hurt, pain, anger, but I persevere. I give it to God and I keep on pressing for the mark of the higher calling. I keep doing it. And I hope that you guys do that too. Now, it says, in spite of your circumstance, you need to prepare to endure right to the end in spite of your circumstances. There are quite a few places in the Bible where believers are encouraged to persevere. For example, in Matthew 10, 22, Jesus warns his followers about the persecution that lay ahead. But at the same time, he promised, he who stand firm to the end will be saved. James writes, the testing of your faith develop perseverance. Uh-huh. Perseverance must finish its work so that you may be mature and complete. Let not lacking anything. That's in James 1, verse 3 and 4. Is perseverance a value that is evident in your life? Usually it is difficulties that nurture perseverance. And the test of perseverance usually come when things start going wrong for you. That's true. With the strength of God at your disposal, at my disposal, God is at my disposal. Thank you, God. And he will truly make it possible for me. I'm talking about me. I can't speak for nobody else because I don't know if you persevering or not. I don't know if you pressing on, if you being steadfast, faithful, and standing still to see what the end is going to be. I'm talking about me now, okay? Listen. 
with the strength of God at your disposal, he will truly make it possible for you to be able to continue and persevere, to be able to endure the end so that you will be able to do the will of God and to receive the things that he has promised you. I will persevere to the end so that I can see and receive the good things that God has promised me. If I be faithful, stand still and be led in God and be obedient to his word, I will persevere. Okay? That was the devotion of the day, talking about how we need to persevere, how we need to be faithful, to stand still, to know that God is by your side every step of the way, to know that there is nothing too hard for God. All we have to do is persevere, stand still, keep the faith. God is our hope. He is our only hope, you know? So, as I end this video, I want to thank all of you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, thumbs up this video. I love you. God love you more. Tell somebody that you love them today. Show them that you love them. Don't just say it. Don't just let it be a lip service. Show it. Let it be an action. Love is action. Let it show that you love somebody today. Let's pray as we leave out the door. Remember, we are all under one God, one nation, one love. Until the next video, stay safe, stay blessed, stay prayed up. Keep the faith and know that God has your back no matter what. Heavenly Father, I pray that you will help us to endure to the end, God, to persevere until each one of your promises come to pass in our life, and that we can receive the heavenly prize that you have promised us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. God bless. I'll see you guys on the next devotional, motivational moment. Tomorrow, the devotion is of uh, thankfulness. And we will be, uh, the prayer for tomorrow is we will be praying for the Holy Spirit for ministry in me, in you, and in others. So, I thank God for prayer. I thank God for the word. I thank God for Jesus first and foremost. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a blessed day, everybody, and stay safe. Peace. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you like